HMX 871 8x8 uh, 4K HDMI matrix kit. Super kit, available with free delivery directly from freetv.ie. Now the overall price point of this is not low, but if you want to get a high-end matrix, it's very, very um, good for a couple of reasons. First of all, it is cheaper than nearly all the competitors on the marketplace. It's better than nearly all the other competitors, and certainly any ones we've ever tested. And the other thing about it is, it's a complete kit. What really kills me with the other Matrix ones you buy is that the price point seems to come in similar to Triax, and then you discover that there's only one or two remote controls with it, and it's 25 or 30 euros extra for each one. Things like this that drive you nuts. So this is a complete kit. It'll cover eight inputs, eight televisions, and everything you need for it. So the first thing to know, why would you use a matrix? I'll just cover that there very quickly. So what it'll allow you to do is have up to eight um, HDMI inputs here, 4K ones, directly in here. So a Sky HD box, a, um, an NVR, um, a local satellite receiver, a Blu-ray player, um, some have a media player, all feeding in. What you can do then is you can run the picture out to up to eight televisions. And at each of those eight televisions, what you can do is you can choose which of the inputs you want to go to. So you can have eight different uh, inputs, eight different outputs all being displayed, or one input being used on eight televisions. So it's completely flexible in terms you can do it. But not alone that, when you get to the remote uh, television, so if we say on television number six that you want to come along and look at uh, input number two, which is the Sky HD box, on that point, once you choose that thing, you can actually pick up your Sky remote and change the channels of the Sky box back in the matrix cabinet uh, directly, okay? So um, when we look at the retail box that it comes in, the first thing we notice is it isn't a retail box. So this is obviously just like professional end user. So the number of guys who are not, who don't know about um, audiovisual who come and buy this directly off is, is exactly zero or very, very few, you know, because you need to a little bit on it. Although the overall setup in this one isn't too bad. I, I think when you see what's involved in it, um, you'll have a better idea on it. So the first thing is there's just a matrix manual on it here, which is quite good. We'll skip directly then to the main event here. So basically what we have here is we can choose any one of the eight inputs and match it off to any one of the eight outputs. So just select it through that way. So that's a manual uh, select on the front of it. So that's pretty straightforward. If we come along then with the eight inputs, what we can do here is we can say, look, for any one of um, the eight things, we're just going to connect the HDMI lead in it. So what we're imagining is we probably have a cabinet with this mounted directly in it. We have the HDMI there, bang, 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 which is mounted in directly. Um, and I'm going to come back about the IR thing in a little while. I'm just going to talk about the matrix in the simplest format now. And what we have then is, in terms of, so now we have, at that point, we connected the eight HDMIs in there from the eight boxes. We'll probably number up each of the ones so we know which is which. What we have is the picture from each of those gone into the matrix ready to be distributed out. And how we distribute it out is, we can actually come along here and we can aim uh, to come along and for each one of uh, these, these are several, seven that can be sent over a Cat5 or Cat6 cable to a distant location, 10, 20, 50, 100 meters away. And you just run it directly to those televisions. And there's one HDMI output on it. And that's saying probably you'll have one of the televisions in the local area. And you can connect your 5, 10, 20 meter HDMI lead that are directly over to that, okay? With the power unit built inside, so we have it directly connected on here. And you can put this on the net, all the rest of it. Very few people are doing that, but you could do it in theory and control things uh, somewhat remotely. Um, so that's the matrix there, with everything put in, and I haven't talked about IR sensors, but I will come back to those. So what we do then is we run a Cat5 cable all the way over, and on the far end, we run it into this here, and what we'll have is our LAN connection on here, it runs directly in, we get a HDMI lead on it, and we come along, we run it directly into the television, and all of a sudden then, the output that's selected on this box will appear in our local television. So that's pretty good. So now we have eight devices. We can set everything up from the matrix here and say television number six will give them output um, or we'll give the input from input number three. Click the buttons on it, off it goes. Super. Uh, but we, we want more flexibility than that. And the other flexibility we want is we want to be able to control the television or the inputs, outputs directly from and uh, the remote location where the television is, okay? And uh, what allows us to do that is, what we'll have here is we'll have uh, IR ins on it. So what we're actually using is we're using a sensor. So we have IR ins, IRs out on it here. And what we can do is um, we can pick up a signal directly from the television or at the television point, run it down into the um, 
IR signal here. It'll run back down through the Cat5 cable directly over here. And on the back of it here, what we'll actually have is the outputs here. We can see there's the IR outputs here. We'll run it directly to each one of the set-top boxes. So we'll have them numbered up corresponding to these ones here. And all of a sudden then, when we pick up the remote control here, and we say, look, at we have our remotes here. We have eight different inputs, we have eight different outputs. We're aiming at two, and we're saying on, um, I'm standing in front of the television, and what I want to do now on input number four, which is my local television, I want to use this, um, I choose output number five, and we flick the matrix over so that uh, input number five is, um, is exactly the one that we're, we're going to be getting. So that will work fine. And we have one of these remote controls for each and every other television. So eight remote controls in total. Now, the next thing to note on it is, well, something else that I'd like to do then as well is, just say that um, input number five happens to be a skybox. Well, what we'd also like to do is be able to actually come along, grab the remote control for um, uh, the skybox, bring it to um, television number six, for instance, aim it directly at it, and then we have input number five chosen, that when we aim at the IR sensor, it picks up the signal, runs it back through the matrix, back out the box and actually gets to the change it, okay? And that's really where this IR sensor here on the output thing will work, because it'll run directly to that set that box and say, I'm talking to you and I want you to go to channel 105, okay? And then the thing flicks over, you're open to that channel, and that's exactly how it works. So we have a smaller version of this, which is a four by four. The eight by eight, really you're talking about larger hotels, pubs, things like that. But if you want to buy a matrix that's going to cover all eventualities, have everything in the kit that you need, and work 24-7, um, I'd say the matrix 8x8 from Triax is probably the way to go. Like We've tried a lot of other brands on it, and guys have said it's pretty good and things like that, but they're just aren't. Of all the ones we've tried in the marketplace, the Triax is by some distance the best, and the price point on them I find generally quite good. So that's it. Um, the Triax uh, uh, HMX um, 871 8x8 4K HDMI matrix.